my name is Gavin Turk and um, I am an artist, I say, laughing a bit because sometimes I kind of, I'm not really quite sure what that means. Sometimes I think that I, I, I make a lot of things which are kind of comments on art and maybe not, not necessarily straightforwardly art. I have lived in East London for the majority of my life and then found myself coming to Hackney Wick and at that time there was a lot of warehouse buildings, there was space here. One of the exciting things about this project is being able to engage with the artist community in Hackney Wick. We recognised that community had had a barrier placed between them and, and the park for the lead up to the games and post the games. So having been introduced to Gavin Turk, who's one of the leading lights in our community, it was very obvious for us to be able to go and have a really good art project with him. When I got asked to um, propose a, a sculpture for a new building, um, I immediately found myself being drawn to a piece of work that I already had in my mind, which is um, this kind of vintage door frame with a door half open on it, the large door, which is a large door and also is large L apostrophe A G E D apostrophe O R, the golden age. The process of taking the door through from an idea to an actual physical thing is actually quite complicated because although the door looks like it's a wooden door made of wood, it actually is a bronze cast painted to look like a, a, a wooden door. We then had to take that door to the foundry to get it turned into bronze. They used a sand casting process to press the door into uh, sand blocks. They then line the impression uh, in the sand with a material that they then cover again with more sand. They then burn the, uh, the material that, that's trapped out, so they then leave a hole with various runners and risers, so they're able to pour in the liquid bronze and it runs around everywhere. And then it was a case of painting it, um, and then painting it, and then painting it, and then aging it. So the door, when it's, uh, when it's finished, looks like it's been standing there um, for centuries. When people walk to us, this door was open and actually allowed people just to come into here east. And it also symbolised our willingness to engage in that community, to say, look, come on over, the door's open, we want you to engage with us. It's a sort of surreal prop. It puts you in the place of, of, of being able to be almost like at all places simultaneously, your inside and outside. Um, and so I, I quite like the way that it, it, it used the door as a, as a sort of motif I suppose, as a sort of icon.